Hi guys, welcome to today's QGIS tutorial lesson 17. In this video, we will learn creating DEM and contours from point data. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so so that you can get a notification when I upload my next video. If you are new to my channel, you can follow all my previous lessons and useful GIS tips from the links in the descriptions below. Let's get started. So today we are going to be, to learn how to cre to create DEM and contours from point. So what we need is point data first that has elevation, and then we will use this point data to de to generate a, a DEM, and later on we will use the DEM now to create very nice contours for our area of interest. So we're going to be using the Google Lab software to get the point data then the gps visualizer to just make sure that the point data has the elevation values then we will use the gpx segment tool which is a qgis plugin to load the point data that we have uh, actually assigned the elevation values and then you're going to use the interpolation idw interpolation to create our dm raster so let's get started so let's go to Google Earth and learn how we can create this point data. So I'm going to open Google Earth Pro. Then I'm going to search for my region of interest. You can actually just manually search, but I'm interested in a region in Nepal. So I'm going to just type Nepal, hit enter, so that I get the precise location where I want to have it as my area of interest. So I'm just going to zoom in to Nepal. And you can see in Nepal, there is this region here which is uh, very very hilly that i want to get the dm of i will add a path so i'll go and click on add path so this is my area general area where i want to have my dm for the area so i'm just going to click on add path then i'm going to call this path nepal nepal points can even change the style, the color of the of the of the picture, and even change the size. And I'm going to just move it aside, and I'm going to make a point, a line here. So I'm just going to draw a line. You can actually draw in any direction. So I'm just going to draw a line like this. So I want to have the DM of maybe say this area, and I'm going to just draw. The lines like that there is no uh, specific way you are supposed to just draw the more points that you have the better so the more accurate your DM will be so I'm just going to draw the lines to cover the whole of this area So I'm satisfied with the number of points that I've created. So I just now bring back this new path and then I just click on OK. It's Nepal points. I click on OK. And I will have my Nepal points here. So what I will do, I will now then save these places as a KML file. So I'm going to click on Save Places as. Then look for where I want to save my KML file, which is in the data in the GIS data folder and I'm going to create a new folder here and I'm going to call it KML and I'm going to save the Nepal points it's a KML file you can just leave it at KMD no problem but it's a KML file so I'll click on save and I have my KML file now the next thing we need to do is we need to now go 
and use the GPS visualizer to make sure that all that is assigned the elevation values, all that, that the, the, the Nepal points is assigned the elevation values. So we'll open our browser and then in our browser we'll type uh, GPS, GPS visualizer dot com slash elevation enter i'll leave the link in the description below for this and this says find missing elevations with gps visualizer so i'm going to upload a file here so i'm going to click on choose file and i'm going to find where the where actually i saved my my kml file that is under data kml and I have my Nepal points here. So I'm going to select Nepal points, open. And I have loaded the Nepal points here. So I'm going to click convert and add elevation. And the output is a GPX file. You can actually save it as a but I want to save it as a GPX file because I want to load it into QGIS. So GPX file, then I click on convert and add elevation. Give it a few seconds to do that for me then you can see now an overview of my nepal points here and you can see an elevation has been added here so it's a very very long gpx file which has elevations so the next thing i will I'll do i'll click to download this G gpx file so i'm going to Then I'm going to save it in data, desktop, GIS, data. Mm, I'm going to call it new folder. I'm going to say GPX files. And I'm going to save this as Nepal points. So it's a GPX file. I click on save and it has finished downloading my gpx file it just you can open it with notepad to confirm if you have the elevation values now after doing that the next thing we want to do is we want to bring it into qgis so that you can create our nice dem so we're going to go to qgis and in qgis the first thing you need to do is you need to install a plugin and the plugin that you're going to install is called the gpx segment tool so you can see I have already installed the GPX segment tool here. But for you, you can just go to manage and install plugins. Then under all, you can look for the GPX segment importer. Then you can actually install it. For me, I've already installed it, so I, I have no problem. But for you, you have to install it. So I click on close. Then it will be loaded under your plugins and you'll have the GPX segment tool here under your plugins. So we want to actually bring our uh, Nepal GPX file. So we're going to go to click on plugins now, select the GPX segment tool and select the GPX segment importer. Then you're going to select where the file is. So I'm going to click on select file. Then I'm going to select uh, where my Nepal file is, which is under G in GIS data, and it's a GPX file, so GPX file, and I only have this GPX file, so I'm going to select that Nepal GPX tracks. Then it will be loaded here. And you can see an example of how the attribute table will look is like this. It will have an elevation, which is a, a float, a double. Then the example is this. So I'm just going to click on uh, my output directory, or I can just click on OK to save it as a temporary file. So what I'll do is I'll save it as a temporary file first. Then I click on OK. And you can see it has loaded the GPX in QGIS here. It's just a very, very way uh, uh, a line that is zigzag all over. So we need we can actually look at the attribute table first to see what we have. 
and you see the attribute table has the elevation but what we want to do is we want to first convert this uh, line into point data how do we do that we go to the vector then we come to the geometry tools then under the geometry tools we'll come and select extract vertices right so i will select extract vertices and what vert vertex do you want to extract we want to extract them from the nepal gpx points so what we, i will do i also create this as a temporary file i'll click on run and within no time i click on close now i have my vertices and i open the attribute table of the vertices now you will see it has the elevation which is very important it has the vertical index and all these other information including the distance and angle but i'm not interested in these other statistics we're just interested in the elevation values for the points now let's go to the third step which is very very important we now have our vertices we are good to go we want we want to now convert these points into a dem the next process that we're going to do is we're going to go to the processing toolbox then in the processing toolbox we can actually just search for the idw interpolation and you can see there is interpolation and there is an idw interpolation here so i'm going to select double click on idw interpolation and then now the next thing the parameters that you're going to put is there which is the vector layer are the vertices right the ones that we have actually created the interpolation attribute is there elevation remember we want to use the elevation as that then we're going to click on the green plus button to add it into into our work area so and the vertices attributes and what, what type of are we using we are using the points you can actually use the structure lines or black lines it doesn't matter but for now we are using the points which are the vertices then the distance that is i'll leave it at two the extent i'm going to just uh, use uh, the vertices as the extent then the number of rows i'll change them to maybe say uh, 50 then columns 77 uh, it will actually generate rows and columns that so i'm actually incre increasing the number of rows and uh, it will increase the number of columns so that we have a better result then i'm going to just click on run and then i click on close and i have my very 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 nice raster layer loaded now in qgs so i will uncheck on this and we can do a little bit of styling of my dm you can see there's a dm so how do we do a styling of dm go to properties then we go to symbology select fido color then i'm going to now uh, select a color ram so i'm going to create new color ram and i'm going to use the catalog city to cpt cpt cities because i want to have the color ram for for topography Then I'm going to select topography. You can see you can actually have very, very many more kinds of elevation. Uh, very, very many more kinds of uh, how you can actually do your color ramp. So I'm going to select topography, then elevation. Then I'm going to click on OK. Then I'm going to now classify my 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 DEM. So I'm going to click on classify. And then I'm going to click on apply. OK. And you can see now we have a very nice DEM showing the black region as the high point and then the the brown regions and all that so this is your dm data now the next thing we need to do is we need to generate contours from this how do we generate contours from this we go to now to raster then click on extract then click on contours we want to extract the contours for this region we're going to use that because it's the only uh, raster data 
available, you're going to use that interpolated. If you have many raster layers loaded on your layer panel, you can actually just select the one that you want to use. Then the interval, I'm going to say maybe say 100. Then what attribute are we using? We're using the elevation. Then I'm just going to click on run and just give it a few minutes to load. And then you can see now the process is finished, the contours has finished, so I click on close. And now you can see we have very nice contours generated for our area. So when you open the attribute table, you can actually see the contours have the elevation value, which is very important. And you can just decide to name our contours to label them. So I'm going to click on label. Then I'm going to use the elevation value. Then I'm going to leave it as a text. And maybe just change the, the color to that because I haven't actually used any of those colors. And then when I zoom in, you can actually see the elevation values of my region of interest. So that's how you generate contours from points data. If you found this video useful and you want to learn more on QGIS, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon so that you can get a notification when I upload the next lesson. Otherwise, I'm just happy you're here. See you in the next video.